Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm bringing you another fun bill, the Suicide Squad. This bill is capable of turning your whole squad into killing machines and also deals a massive amount of damage during a short time. What you need to do is keep spamming this spell, Revival, which is the core component in today's spell. We'll go with the Desperation upgrade, cause the original one just sucks. It costs you 85 mana to cast, not to mention the 60 second cooldown. The Desperation, on the other hand, is quite extreme. Revival is now easier to cast, but no longer revives allies permanently. Instead, allies who are already unconscious fight with great power for a few seconds before falling again. Once a character is revived, they got 200% damage bonus and 50% attack speed bonus for 10 seconds. The mana cost and the cooldown time are also greatly reduced, making this spell quite spammable. But what they didn't mention in the description is, after your allies came back from death, they are also immune to damage, knockdown, stun, frozen, etc. This is how you got your invincible team. We choose the Night Enchanter as the main character for this spell. I tried all the mages, but the Night Enchanter was doing the best. She's tanky, and there are times you need to handle a few solo situations. It's totally fine for a KE. If you want to know how to build a powerful solo KE, you can check this video up here. First, take the barrier, and all the way down to revival. Don't forget that I can duelating barrier. It's quite useful for a KE. Cause you always have your barrier on. Onto the storm abilities. Chain lightning is a really sweet spell with only 8 seconds cooldown. I usually use the original upgrade. It's quick and shocks wherever it hits. When there are at least two targets, you can quickly refill your barrier. The energy barrier does a similar job of replenishing your barrier. What's amazing about this spell is when you're using the blade of the Darien. It fires 24 projectiles instead of 12 if you have different elements in your staff. Next, we are taking Conductive Current and Static Charge. We are not going to need any active spells in this ability tree. Take the Flash Point and the Clean Burn. Both of them are crucial, since this spell is all about refreshing your cooldowns, so you can cast Revival more frequently. The Flash Point makes you able to cast Revival twice in a row. This usually happens at the beginning of a fight, if you got a very high crit chance. This works so well in the early game. Later in this video, I'll also show you some early gameplay footages. Who have to lead the fire mines, since we're not the one who's stealing damage in this spell. And here we are taking the winner's grass. The winner's chill is much better in my opinion. In this game, the AoE damage always beats the single target damage. Face stab is a must for mages. Just choose the upgrade that fits your playstyle. In the specialization tree, we almost need everything. I personally don't like the spirit blade for its recharging mechanic. The fake low is much better, which can also get you out of trouble. Then you can take all of the passive abilities. You can use a normal staff or a melee staff, which being the blade of Tedarian, but I mostly use the end core. It's got decent crit chance and crit damage. More importantly, it gives you one of these three random buffs, Battle of Bands. Increases you and your allies' attack speed by 20%, Mark of Rift. Adding bonus elemental damage to the team's attack, Sing Along. Giving 2% bonus of hitting on hit for your team, and using the superior prowler armor can never go wrong. The same for the sigil of Greg Bear, which is the only useful item in the sigil system. There are quite a few options for masterworks. Walking bombs, hidden blades, walking forges, just use whatever you have. For amulets, you got two options. Superior amulet of cooldown and unjust day's sacrifice. When choosing your squad mates, always bring the ones with high DPS especially Rose. You can even use the Berserker Masterworks 
so they die faster. These abilities are recommended for your roles. Twin Fangs, Dead Blow, and Pinkushin in the Archery Tree. It's worth it, even if it takes you 3 ability points and look like it hurts for the Sabotage Tree, then combine with their own specialization abilities. Try not to use any defensive abilities, such as Stealth, Toxic Cloud. The first thing you need to do in combat is to send your squad mates to death, revive them, cast other spells to reset your revival's cooldown. You don't need to deal a lot of damage, they're gonna finish the job for you, as long as you got the revival ready. Besides, this spell can cover a much larger area than it looks. If you have multiple squad mates down, even they're far away from each other, just cast the spell at a spot right between them. This should bring them back all together. And sometimes I can even find the body. I just cast the spell, and it's done. But it has this fatal glitch, where the desperation buff is gonna apply to you immediately. Once your health bar drops to 1, even if you got the guardian spirit, the game still thinks you are dead and put this buff on you. 10 seconds later, game over. This happens so often, cause when your squad mates are down, every mobs will be attacking you. If you just cast revival, the long animation is gonna get you killed. The solution is to cast fake low before you revive your squad mates. I also tried this spell on the early game, and it works really well. Just a bit risky. I tried to kill the envy demon as fast as possible, but he just escapes when the health bar is below one third. Once the squad mates are revived, they're absolutely dealing a lot of damage. If he hadn't escaped, this squad should be able to kill him in a few seconds. I'll show you a few more footages, so you know how it works in the combat. If you find this video helpful, feel free to hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. Enjoy the combat! less Hakonite. Coming our way. 